Good afternoon. My name is Roger Partridge. On behalf of my colleagues, Commissioner Laura Thomas and Commissioner Abe Leiden, thank you all for being here this afternoon with us. Before we get to the announcements of what many have been waiting for, I would like to recognize John and Maria Castillo. Parents of Kendrick Castillo. They're unable to be here with us because of certain proceedings. But Kendrick, a young man who has forever changed the way many of us will think, say, and do for years to come. If I so may ask, may we please bow for a moment of silence. John 15, 13 tells us, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John and Marie, you raised an obedient son whose life here on earth is done, but it was not and is not without gain with every day that passes. Thank you from our hearts. Our prayers are with you as you cope with your loss. Six months ago, when this board decided to step forward with the offer of $13.3 million, we knew we were embarking on something different. We didn't have all the answers, and yet we wanted there to be a catalyst for change. What we'll share today was inspired, informed, and cannot be achieved without you and many others. So with this announcement, the three of us will briefly share the who, what, where, when, why's, and how we got to where we are today. Then we'll go over one of the three main components of the $13.3 million funding. For myself, the Douglas County government is in a uni unique position to coalesce the whole community onto common paths. Common paths that are one way we can make our county what we want it to be. On May 8th, we saw that common path of school safety because of the tragic incident the day before. The decision to act was in response to what was repeated over and over. It was time for something to be done. To our, distinct, to our distinguished guests, students, teachers, school administrators, school leadership, to law enforcement, to behavioral health professionals, to the members of our two committees, physical school safety and mental health for students who expertise guided our funding priorities, to members of the business community, to local elected leaders representing Douglas County and our municipalities, and to all stakeholders who call Douglas County home, we are blessed to have you here with us today. Thank you, Commissioner Leighton. Thank you, Commissioner Partridge. <clears throat> you know, on May 7th, the shooting at STEM sent the three of us into the heart of our worst nightmare. And in an instant, our county lost a hero named Kendrick Castillo, who made the ultimate sacrifice for his classmates. Mm -hmm. I will never forget that day, being rushed to a briefing with law enforcement before being pushed out into a press conference to share with the world what had happened. You know, afterward, I took off my badge, my coat, and just walked back solemnly to the Northridge Rec Center where teachers were huddled in shock and grief. On my way there, parents and their students lined the sidewalks headed back to their vehicles. When I told them I was sorry, it did not resonate. When I told them my thoughts were with them, it didn't matter. But when I said with tears in my eyes, look, we're gonna work together to fix this, they said, yes, thank you. Please do something now so another teacher, staff member, student, or parent doesn't have to go through what we were going through today. Charged with the health, safety, and welfare of 368,000 people in Douglas County, we believed it was incumbent upon us to come alongside our leaders in law enforcement and education to identify ways to address the safety of our young people in schools with expertise, but also a sense of urgency. My proudest moment as a commissioner to date was the moment when the three of us looked each other in the eyes and without hesitation said to one another, we hear the voices of our citizens and we will act now. So here we are in this season of Thanksgiving, six months later, and listen, we know 
that nothing we do will stop all evil in the world from happening. But I am so thankful that through the leadership of my fellow commissioners and elected leaders throughout Douglas County and the state legislature, law enforcement, the school board, the parents, teachers, experts, and concerned citizens, and our phenomenally gifted and dedicated staff, that we can say with confidence today, in honor of Kendrick Castillo and his family, that we are going to wrap our schools in solutions that create an incredible hurdle to keep evil like this from ever happening again. While standing in the command post at STEM on May 7th, I felt a wave of memories flood over me. Those of 20 years earlier on an April morning. I was a state patrol major standing in the dispatch center listening to the details of a shooting at Columbine High School as they unfolded. I remember feelings of absolute disbelief and enormous sadness. That night, I learned that my friend Susie Kerno had lost her son Stephen in that tragedy, and it made that senseless tragedy even more personal to me. I remember Susie going through the cards and letters and memorials that she had received. Over the years, there were more and more school shootings. And then there I was with all of you living a nightmare at STEM. <clears throat> We heard from many that evening that something had to be done. We are blessed to live in the best nation that has ever existed. And we are responsible for protecting our children. That does not fall just on law enforcement and our schools. We all must come together, and I'm not talking about an emotional thing for a short period of time. I'm talking about a sustained way. So this community, by putting partisan politics aside to unite in the best possible way to meet this ever-growing challenge to protect our most precious thing, our children. Because of that, Douglas County is providing funding that is simply a platform to galvanize, unite, and walk alongside all of our schools in a meaningful way. And let me just tell you that over the summer, I've had the opportunity to work with the people in our schools. And I'm going to say, Rich Payne, thank you. I have seen the plans that are in place, and they are good. Our children already have great things in place to keep them safe. I'm just going to talk quickly about the process. So in May, the commissioners came together and said we were going to walk alongside all schools in our county. Two committees were formed, a physical school security committee and a mental health committee. These committees were filled with subject matter experts who spent hours going through thousands of pages of research. Those committees provided us with a list of recommendations that would keep our kids safe. The commissioners then rolled out those recommendations in an online process for schools to apply. Schools were given the opportunity to tell us what their specific needs were to keep them safe. This included neighborhood, charter, and private schools. Commissioners and staff went through those recommendations and those requests, and we are here today to announce the funding awards. Let me just talk about the difference that this investment will make in physical school security and mental health services for our students and this is best explained by the people closest to the solutions. And so we've asked them. In my eyes, and I hope in many eyes, there's really no more important topic than school safety. Um, children can't learn unless they're safe. Children can't grow to be the perfect adults that we want them to be without being safe. So this is the first and foremost in my mind, the most important aspect of a school. A lot changed after the STEM shooting. That is transformational for all of us. That's something that will never, will never go back to the way that we were. 
Kendrick, as we know, was the student who was uh, murdered at uh, STEM High School. Uh, that day, Kendrick approached the second shooter that entered the room and immediately pinned him against the wall before he lost his life. Yeah. Saving, you know, 28 people in that room. I didn't think that would happen near me, and it did, and I think that changed the way that I look at school safety. You shouldn't be going to school fearing for your life, ever. Hopefully that you, you could tell by, um, by my tears how important this is. We have always kept our eyes on school safety and mental wellness of our kids. The, the celebration really is that I feel like our community now really has rallied alongside of us to you know, make sure that that happens as well. So whether it's our county commissioners um, or our community that just recently passed our bond measure, um, I really believe that everyone now sees that we've got to invest in this notion of what it does it mean to keep our kids safe and also how do we make sure that they're socially and emotionally safe as well. It makes me proud that rather than just ignore the issue that we're taking a positive stance on it. Everybody has backed up thoughts and ideas with support, actions, and money. The money in particular is going to help us do some things that we have wanted to do um, that we may have delayed over a period of, of a year or three, depending on, on, on the, the project. To have the additional taxpayer funds from the commissioners in particular uh, is gonna help us accelerate some of our, uh, some of our plans. We're really blessed to be able to have this money. Um, being a private school, stuff like this doesn't come our way often. So being able to use it to help um, with school security and school safety is a top priority for me, and we're very lucky. Adding SROs to their schools, brilliant, I love that. This is going to allow officers, I think, to do a better job in the schools, uh, to be able to do a more quality job and spend time with the kids uh, in a specific school. When they see me, and uh, without saying a word, you can tell in their expression, in their faces, that sense of, uh, I feel fine, I feel good. Thanks for being here, Gabe. We started um, with a community response team that mainly served adults, and the community saw what a valuable resource this was. And so why not bring that to all of our community members? And this youth community response team just enhances that because now we have another group that can come in and collaborate and partner with us and make sure that when we need to hand that student off to the next supports, there's a really great support team in place to take care of them. In spite of a world that may be unpredictable, that may be seemingly increasing in violence, that we can help make sure that when you're here, you're safe, you're secure, and you can be focused on the things that you need to be focused on. I just like to say thank you to those people because they understand how important mental health is. Even though they're safe inside of the building, they're not safe inside their heads. And um, being able to use this money for mental health is really important for kids like me who suffer with anxiety and depression. Students can only take it so far, and I feel like with the adults and the people that are working hard to create the change, they're adding this extra layer of like a push forward and moving forward and making my schooling and my environment a lot safer. So we're truly grateful for our community as well as our commissioners that have really rallied to help us just continue to, if, if anything, accelerate the work that we have been doing around this notion of what makes our schools safe. Just like what Kendrick did, he did something. He acted heroically instantly. He was selfless, did everything to live for, and gave his life. And with that sacrifice made, I hope that, you know, when we think of change and how things are going to be going forward, that we remember him. We remember his face, that he was the one to make the change.
So Kendrick demonstrated the change that needs to happen. And let's talk about the county's investment for even more change. I'm honored to be able to announce the creation of a youth community response team that will be dedicated to the schools in Highlands Ranch and Douglas County High School. That accounts for about 70% of students in our schools. In May of 2017, Douglas County launched the first of three community response teams. These are teams that are a mental health clinician and a specially trained law enforcement officer who respond to any call that includes a mental health component. And to date, one third, 33% of the calls that these teams have responded to have involved children. These teams have prevented suicides and ensured that individuals suffering from mental illness haven't ended up in a jail or an emergency room. They have been provided with the care they needed. Douglas County is announcing that we will be committing ongoing funding of $331,000 annually for the Youth Community Response Team. This team will be available to collaborate with the child, the parents, and the school to make sure that ongoing care for the child is provided. We believe that this team, which launched on Monday of this week and has already been on seven calls, is the first of its kind in the nation. And we are proud to pioneer this important service to our county. Thank you. One of the other components was a dedication of $3 million year over year ongoing for continuing the school resource officer program. Now this is a program that has been in existence in Douglas County in partnership with the school since 1988. It's been a very successful program, not just for having trained personnel in the schools to protect students, but to communicate with the students, communicate with the the teachers and the school administrators, what is the atmosphere? Those school resource officers are such a valuable asset. I think as we saw in the video, Gabe's words were very clear what students feel. Now with this, this is what we Douglas County have done, but I wanna commend Parker, Castle Rock, Lone Tree, Larkspur, and Castle Pines for all their input. Now, even though you say Castle Pines and Larkspur do not have a law enforcement agency, they do contract. So their contract dollars with Douglas County do go forward to help the schools. So all communities in Douglas County have had input into the SRO program. So again, it's something we really feel and what we've heard from law enforcement and from our community and from our parents and grandparents and students that SROs are very valuable source to have in the schools. So that is why we continued on with three million and our funds that are, have gone on since 1988. So to continue forward, <clears throat> in addition to the $331,000 for the UCRT program and the $3 million in ongoing funding for the SROs, um, we wanted to speak specifically to the remaining $10 million that was granted out for physical school security and mental health. So $9 million total was allocated for physical school safety, which includes $7.68 million to all of the school applicants uh, in Douglas County, and includes $1.33 million in innovation and emerging, emerging technology contingency. The good news is that every school requesting safety resources received funding from the county. Specifically, this included communications, access control, training, and enhanced building security. And we're really excited to move forward with these new forms of, of physical school safety. Again, to ensure that our schools are not made more vulnerable, specific security details are protected by state law and will remain confidential. In addition to physical school security, the Board of County Commissioners has also appropriated $990,000 to mental health and social emotional learning. Through the input of our phenomenal experts on our mental health committee, they provided information with regard to how best to wrap these solutions around students from a mental health standpoint. 
The good news here is that 100% of eligible funding requests were approved, 100%. This included school climate and culture assessments, social emotional learning curriculum that builds resiliency, addresses bullying and builds positive social emotional skills and connections, suicide prevention and intervention programming, mental health supports and interventions that build on existing programming, and then mental health first aid and related training for staff, parents, and students. So to summarize, the $13.3 million distribution from the Board of County Commissioners, physical school safety included the funding dis distributed to all school applicants of $7.68 million in one time, innovation and emerging technology contingency for $1.33 million in one time funding, mental health, social emotional learning, which was distributed to all school applicants for a total of $990,000 in one-time funds, which resulted in a total of $10 million. The youth community response team, again, was $331,000 in ongoing funding, and school resource officers is $3 million in ongoing funding. You can see here from this chart that the Douglas County School District received 79% of all funds allocated by the Board of County Commissioners. Charter schools received 17% and private schools received 4%. And in conclusion, we'd like to share that every school, again, requesting safety and or mental health resources received funding from the county. This included 91 Douglas County School District schools, 15 charter schools, and eight private schools and the names of all of these schools in Douglas County are listed here. At this time, I think we, the commissioners, want to give you, you all of you a hand for everything you have done to help this county be great. We really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. And I see some surprised looks on faces that we were supposed to go, what, five hours for tonight? I think it was, but we've been able to do it in less than a half hour. So we really we're think- We're conservative. Yes, that's right. Yes. We were able to do it. Uh, we thank you again for all that you have done and all that you will continue to do to make our schools safe, schools safe here and now. And from the commissioners, we are just so blessed to be able to serve you. It is a great privilege. And, and an honor that we can do this for you, that we have the ability through you to help keep our schools safe. So with that, we ask you for many blessings on you and your, fam your family with Thanksgiving, and please join us with some refreshments that we have in the back. God bless you all.